Hello everyone, this is PT Jet, and welcome back. Should be streaming. Make sure I am. Yep, Twitch is working, I think. And YouTube looks like it's working. Make sure... Yep, right mic. That probably broke your ears. Cool. Try this out. So I was trying to install camera tools because I really wanted to do an episode with the Mark IV cargo plane that I've been working on. Um, however, I can't find uh, well, whatever it is, cargo planes, cargo. What's that called? Camera tools for uh, a version. Coding overload. Oh boy. Interesting. Can't find camera tools for a version later than 1.2. That's what I was trying to say there. Hey J Gaming, how are you doing? Hello Emma, how are you doing? You can see I have done a little bit of a change to it. Or I've changed it a little bit. I changed these uh, before they were a lot smaller, as well as I have more, I changed the uh, pitch axis from this to these type, the big S, because that gives a lot more pitch control. So if I were to go ahead and launch this, see that it flies a lot better. Loading overload, that's not good. Probably need to fix that. So now it'll actually take off at around 80 instead of the like 100 or 200 that it was taken off at before. Yep, exactly 80. And the fun part about this is that now I can actually open up the cargo bay and close it in air. Before it wasn't letting me do that. So if I were to go ahead and. Uh, Press zero. No. Oh, did I save this after doing that? Dude, okay. No, I have to. That's right. Open that, and I press one. Okay, well, it did work a while ago. But, do that now. And if I press zero, it automatically disconnects. It should work better now, though. I'm considering putting them all on one key, because then I can just open or close it on a whim, essentially. So if I go ahead and I press double space, press zero, press one, you can see that it will go up, dock, I press zero again and then one, it should go back down and dock again. Yep. So, that means that I have a fully functioning cargo plane. Plus I've got flaps. That actually works this time. Alright, I want to see if it's possible. That's not good. Did I ever set up reverse thrust? I don't know if I did. I probably should have. That is a lot of drag. Probably not good. Probably should have brought along. That's also a good idea. Let's go try to land at the island. And I think we can time warp. Yeah, we're good. Hello, Kerno. How are you doing? 
I've been working on this plane a lot, and it's looking very nice. Alright. The question is now, can I land it on this strip without reverse thrust? I am doubting it. Go ahead and just make sure... Brakes are all turned up. Okay, quick save. Probably actually going to need to land with about half throttle on this plane. Doing good? Awesome. This plane just has so much drag that it just slows down. It's so bad. Oh, I already have one on there. Yeah, I landed that one with reverse thrust. But the thing is, like, it barely even made it with that. But I do want to try it without. I'm going to hit it. That's not good. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. We're just going to... going to cancel that. Awesome. So... I've got my cargo plane. What can I do with that? Well, what I want to be able to do is have a ramp extend or be able to take the gear down in the back and hopefully have it automatically be able to add stuff in, essentially. So if I were to go ahead and crack to the, see that the back end goes down. That sounds amazing. I, uh, on Thursdays and Tuesdays, I don't have class usually. Like, I get out, I go to school at 8.30 and I'm out at 11.30 on Tuesday. But the thing is, I, uh, I have to go to a lab every other Tuesday-ish at around, I think it's 8. No, I, I, I think it's 7. Then it gets out at 8.30. Yeah, I need a way to get a ramp to extend out of here. Cover this. Could have done it there, though. That must be a nice school schedule. But, I mean, I am in college, so college schedules are so nice. If you can get the schedule that you want. Otherwise, you get 7.30 class. Whatever. And that might not seem late, but for college it is. That might not seem early. Okay, let's make a... Uh, let's make a ramp. Go ahead and extend this out. As far as I can. Actually, let's extend it up. I have a feeling I can get that farther out of the way. Okay, lots of clipping in there, but it should be fine for now. that later. So, for the ramp, I don't know what I want to do. I was thinking about using air brakes, but there's no way to get them to go without standing out. Um, the other way I could do it... I, I, I don't have any idea how I want to... I could try and hold one out, but that would be a really steep ramp that has to clear this, essentially. That sucks. Why do they not let freshmen leave? That just doesn't make sense. Okay, I could make one that folds out. The ramp was about this long. Could that fold up inside? Enough clear. No. It could go over here in the center-ish area, though. That might work, actually.
So if I were to... Oh, but that's going to suck because I need to have the pivot point out here. And I really don't have a way to do that. You know what? I know what I could do. This, this is going to be really smart, okay, guys? We're going to get a stack separator. Out of. Take a stack separator there. We're going to put I-beams. All right? These all the way back. That C fighting is not fun. Okay. So, here's where my smart comes in. Basically, I'm gonna take these wing connectors. You guys are going to like this. Like, trust me, this is this is top tier. Get it just above. Put it together. Same with these. And then, this is the smart part. Smart part. Basically, you're gonna put wheels on it, but in such an arrangement that when the wheels are opened, they reach the ground. Maybe would that work? Like sort of how uh, EMTs do it. When these are closed, they're inside, but when they're open, they're, they can touch the ground. Possibly. Like that. When this falls out the back, it rolls? Would that work? No, that doesn't work, because... Hmm. I like the idea of having a slider that this could slide out on. Yeah, it needs to back out and then go back in. Redock. Which is why this is so hard. that all set up. You know what, I'm going to set flaps reverse thrust as well because I want to make sure I don't forget. Alright. Got that. So that needs to back out and then go back in. To actuate that, I'm thinking... Like how far does it need to go out? I could have multiple... Interesting. If I were to do... That... Just above the ground there. Put one of these. Bring that up into the air. And then do another one. Uh, 
up, left, forward. Get that enclosed on the sides. Art. Art. Put two more of those on. Keep placing them. Like the attention, girl, I know you. But you're everything I want. So we've got that. It's strutted up. So that should be able to extend back out. Far enough. That it should be able to hit the ground if these are down. Go ahead and try that out. Just gonna leave that door up there. Got all your miniature time. Ooh, delicious. Floating door. Alright, we're just gonna throttle down. It is decoupled, we're gonna retract this and hope it falls out. No? Oh, it's slowly going out. That is very slow though. I need to move these up a little bit more. So it doesn't... Hmm. Doesn't contact. That is very slow. Can I like speed it up just by throttling up? But yes, I, I can. I don't think it's long enough. I took these pieces. Put them on the front. Right about there. Okay, awesome. We've got platform that can stick out. And then what we need is to be able to lock that onto something so it can then be retracted. Which I don't know how that would work. If I were to take pieces there, those out and over, and then Put one of these here. That stop it. Question. I can that right. There we go. And then those could catch and be a hinge. Except to hinging the wrong way. If I put them under the airplane, it would hinge the right way, and there we go. That's how I do it. Okay. Rear, down. That's pretty close.
And then to put it back in, we would extend those. Actually, you know what we could do with that? Um, move it over this way, just a little bit. Go ahead and put these guys. Right, and then we take air brakes. We look at the deploy on that. Put forward just enough. Then do that a couple more times. But I think I think I figured this out before. It was about that much distance. Fun. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was bad. Take those air brakes off. Custom. Right. So. Toggle. This one, right? Toggle. 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 Okay. That should give us the ability to retract it. We're going to set the limit out here just in case. Launch that. Here's the test. Deploy. That didn't work. Alright, here we go. I should lock now. Retract that. Alright, let's see this out. Let's see if this works. So I have to do, I think it's six, five, four. Three. And that retracts it. There you go. I need a way to get the front off the ground more. If I were to put something in here. Put it like right about there. Alright, that can be on seven. And retract, and we'll take that out of gear. Start retract it. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. If 
I go ahead and I press 8, 7, yeah, 7, if I go ahead and press 7, that should tip it backwards just a little bit. Now if I go ahead and press G, that should be a better pivot. That is really springy. Okay, well we're just going to deal with that. Okay, let me press 6, 5, 4, 3, And is that enough to just jiggle it out on its own? No. So, we will need something to push it a little bit. We could use a jet engine to push it down though, that would work. So we've got a ramp, sort of. Thing is, it doesn't go down. So, what we do for that... This will just test, but... We were to deploy that downward. That could do it. Nah, that won't bridge. Long enough. We need to figure out how to get this to be stronger. That'll probably work. I have no idea what those do. Probably should because I program in Unity, but I don't. gonna be a fairly quick stream though probably only 30 minutes pop that out press 7 press B let it go down That is just not much of an angle, is it? Alright, that's about clear, I think. We're going to give this one more try, and then I'm going to call it quits. Oh, still blocked by the uh, tail fins, although it's not as bad. Pop that out. We can get out a little bit farther. Fall down just a little bit, it'd be fine. Now we go go ahead and go uh, six, five, four, three. It retracts all the way in. At this point, I'd press G again. Seven. And then if this was attached, I would you know, drop it down, it would go back into place. Simple as that. I have to... Yeah, there we go. Simple as that. So, I'm getting there. It's working. But, unfortunately, that's going to be it for this stream. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.